Hey there, Sales Funnel Nerd, and welcome to this video today. We're going to go over how to build your first funnel without making the usual mistakes. And I'm going to give you uh, some pretty critical stuff that I've learned, encountered from people I've talked about funnels, who've come to me for advice, and my own personal experiences. So let's get right to it. Now here's the three most important things. The first thing is you want to make sure that you use the right funnel for the right job. The second is do your copy first and your funnel last, and the last is to test your funnel. Now, let's take a look at each one of these individual things here. So the first thing is the right funnel for the right job. Now, so first off, we want to use the right funnel. We want to know, we want to make sure that we know what our funnel needs to accomplish. Don't try and figure out an automated webinar funnel uh, when you're really just perfecting your VSL funnel instead. And that's really what you need. You know, it's actually more simple than you need. Uh, if you're just getting leads, if you're just trying to get leads, you're just uh, the type of business where all you do is answer the phone once people opt in and call you, uh, then, then you just need a two-page funnel. But if you're do, doing something with uh, information products and you have the opportunity or the potential to monetize those new leads, uh, then you might need more of kind of a lead generation slash tripwire funnel. But the great thing is you do have lots of funnel choices here inside of ClickFunnels, uh, but make sure that you're using the right one. Maybe you're, you're at the point here where you need to do some type of a, a survey funnel. Because you need to find out what do your what does your list want to buy? What will they happily buy from you next? So maybe you need a survey funnel, and then from there you can go on to a video sales letter funnel, or maybe you're going to do a full blown product launch, right? But know what your funnel needs to accomplish. Now the second thing is copy first, funnel last. So you want to sit down and and hammer out all the copy that you're going to need before you even touch your funnel builder. This is where your funnel diagram is going to come in handy. Ad copy, landing page copy video sales letter copy, long form sales letter copy, thank you page copy, email welcome sequence copy, and a new buyer stick copy. These are just a few of the pieces of sales copy that I can think of for, uh, for a given sales funnel. Now once you've got that, you can really build your funnel fast because then you're just filling in templates and polishing things up. Doing things the opposite way, uh, trying to build a funnel and throw in copy as you go will consume more time than you can possibly imagine. I know this from experience. Don't do it. And the last thing is to test your funnel. Go in there because can you really imagine anything worse than spending your hard-earned money on some ads or some traffic? You've got someone who's ready and willing to buy from you and they can't buy or they can't sign up or they can't become a lead because you didn't test your funnel and something's broken. Now, don't just test your funnel. Test all the portions of your funnel. A basic buyer, an advanced buyer. They passed on the upsell, but they took the downsell. And did the email automation go off without a hitch? Right? So, test it. Make sure that it's all good to go before you go, because it's not worth looking unprofessional if you don't. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to get some one-on-one -on -one training with me to help you build out your first funnel, just click on the screen or on the link in the description below, and let's get funnel building together. Don't forget to click like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.